Welcome back. Well, this is probably the time you've all been waiting for where we're going to use Smart EPG to create some searches and from there the searches will hopefully create some timers for us. You can have as many searches as you like saved within Smart EPG and once a day uh, at 1am in my case the top field will wake up, uh, run the searches and if it finds what it's looking for it will create timers for you automatically. So you can have a keyword like a person's name or a subject or anything you like really and any time that that piece of information is mentioned in the EPG uh, Smart EPG will find it and create a timer for you so you'll never miss an episode of say Faulty Towers ever again. So it does have a lot of powerful features but you don't have to use all of them and we're going to start out with a pretty simple example just to get started. The first thing we're going to do is just have another look at the EPG screen itself. If you look at the information at the bottom of the screen you'll see two red buttons there. Now these two red buttons correspond to physical buttons on the remote control. As you can see here the red search button in Smart EPG corresponds to the same coloured button on the remote and the next one over the Rec Edit button in Smart EPG is activated by the record button on the remote control. And the difference between the two is that if you just wanted to make a quick recording from the EPG you'd use the Rec Edit button and just press that and you'd create a once-off timer but if you want to create a search then you use the other red button on the remote. Now I know that sounds confusing but uh, let's get straight into an example and it should become clear. So for this example we're going to create a search which will create timers for recording the ABC 7 o'clock news every night of the week. So we've just highlighted the ABC 7 o'clock news in the EPG and we're going to press the red search button on the remote control and that's going to bring up what's called the search list editor. Here we are and it's all pre-filled in for you so there's nothing much you have to do but down the bottom of the screen you'll see a green button to save. Now that's all we have to do right now is just press save and now you can see back to the EPG we have three red dots uh, showing against the ABC 7 o'clock news and that's it we've created the timers to record the ABC news and the three dots signify that it's a series recording. Now we'll explain that a little bit more later but for now we can go back to the timer view by pressing 5 and you'll see there's the timer created for ABC News. Now notice that the timer has only been created for Tuesday. That's not really what we want. We wanted to record the news for every day of the week. So we want to go and edit the search so that it picks up the other days of the week. So we're back to view 6 uh, which is the search list and when we see the search we've just made we press the OK key and we're back in to edit that. Now we're going to go down and have a look at where it says weekdays there and that you'll see straight away that the reason the search has only found Tuesday is because we've only told it to search on Tuesdays. So we need to change that to be every day of the week and that's pretty easy. You just press the OK key again and you'll open up the list of selections for the days and you can see there that they're all on no except for Tuesday. So we want to change that to um, every day or daily and down the bottom of the screen you've got some shortcut buttons and the one key is the daily button. So you press that one key and they'll all change to yes which is what we want. There they go. So that's fine. We want to back out of that menu, press the exit key again and we'll go back to the search list editor eventually. There it is and you'll see now we've got all the days of the week selected. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit just here because I happen to know that ABC News has an early edition and a late edition but we don't want to record those we just want the main seven o'clock news so I'm just going to go up to this field that says start time and end time and just trim them up a little bit so that they don't pick up the earlier news. So we'll just change that to say 1800 hours or 6 o'clock and that'll avoid picking up the early news. 
So we press the right arrow or fast forward button and that will change it to 1800 and we'll go down to the end time and press the left arrow button or fast rewind and change that back to say 20 hundred hours or 8 o'clock. So we're happy with that now and we're ready to save the search. Now it looks like a lot of work but you only have to do this once to get it right and then you can just forget about it forever and it'll keep on recording. So all we want to do now is save the search by pressing the green button and we're back to the search list again. And now you can see we have six against that search so it's found six instances of ABC News. Now that's pretty good but not exactly what we want because you can see it has missed the Sunday news for some reason. Now Smart EPG is smart but it can't quite read your mind and the reason it hasn't found the Sunday news is because we've told it explicitly to find the words ABC News and it just so happens that on Sundays the wording's slightly different so we have to change our search criteria just a little bit to make sure that it picks up Sunday as well. I think this is a good time to call it quits for this episode. We've got six out of seven and we need to learn a few little tricky techniques to achieve the perfect result and we'll cover that in the next episode. So we'll see you then.